channel. I've been umming and ahhing about how to do this and how to start things and I just thought we could have a chat. So go grab a cuppa um, and come and sit with me for a little while. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Sophie. I am an interior architect and I own Studio Lawson, which is a company that I set up to try and make the interior design industry a little more sustainable. Um, I was a little sick of seeing people just rip stuff out that was, you know, almost brand new um, and it all go to landfill. Um, so with the previous companies that I worked for, um, they didn't want to make the change, that to them wasn't important, so I thought I would set up by myself. And here we are. Um, the reason why I am sat in an empty echoey room, uh, this is our house. Uh, me and my uh, fiance have just bought a house um, and we are in the middle of renovating it. So this series is gonna be all about our renovation. So I thought I would give you a tour and talk you through what we're doing in each room. I asked everyone on Instagram, um, if you don't follow me, go over and follow me. I'll pop it here. That's what they do, right? I'll pop it here. <laughs> um, it's studio.lawson. Um, if you wanted to go have a follow, I'd put lots of updates on the house stuff and business things over there. Um, but I asked over there whether you guys would like to see the design ideas per room, per floor, or just one big video. And there was an overwhelming response that everyone wants them individual rooms. So I will do a full house tour. <laughs> Let's have a look, shall we? And I'll talk you through what we're planning to do. Several days later. Hi everyone. I'm uh, just at the house um, on a grey and horribly rainy day because um, we're having our internet installed. Um, but I've been looking around the house and realised that I've got carried away and started doing things without letting you know what's going on. So <laughs> we're going to do a bit of a house tour um, and yeah, I'll tell you about all the things that I've got planned. Okay, so this is going to be the living room. Um, as you can see, I've already knocked this cabinet out. It's all here. <laughs> um, I have filmed a video of me doing it. Um, not having a clue what I'm doing it, but I'm doing it. Um, so in here, we're going to have an L-shaped sofa here, and then a coffee table and a rug, and then this, the fireplace is all going to get plastered, all of the coving is going to come down, we're going to take the ceiling rows down as well, change the light fitting, we're gonna have a cabinet here to hide the gas meter and then the same cabinet on this side they are being built in. And then some shelves above here and some shelves above there. And then in the window, we're gonna take down these blinds. And I think I'm gonna do curtains on either side, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I might still do Roman blinds. So you'd have three Romans. But I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet. Um, I'm steering more towards curtains than I am blinds. And then the floor in here, I'm gonna sand and hopefully get back to a nice light oak color. I'm hoping something, something light would be nice, which I'll either varnish, uh, clear varnish if it's a nice colour or I will stain again. Um, I haven't decided what yet but the plastering needs to happen, the carpentry needs to happen in here before I can do that. So I don't know about that yet. Then moving into the dining room, I'll tell you a story about this in another video. It's the first piece of furniture we've bought for the house. Anyway, um, We've got a nice big open plan space. So if I come to this side, you can see we've got this will obviously be dining room. This will be dining room in here. And then we've got the living room back there, which is really nice. So in here, I'm planning 
this is all the underlay that I still have to find a place for uh, from the carpets upstairs. Um, but I'm planning on a bench seat running along here, down this wall, and then it will go into what will be a bar unit, hopefully, to store all of Ash's gin. Because he has about 50 bottles. The kitchen is an absolute mess at the moment, so um, I do apologise for that. Um, but as you can see at the moment, it's a light grey gloss. Um, if you have been following me for a while, you know that I'm not the biggest fan of grey. So the plan is, this was only done and put in maybe two years ago. This kitchen is practically new. I can't justify ripping it out and putting a new one in because it's so new. Um, and because it is just personal taste, I'm just not a big fan of grey gloss. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to keep the units, we're going to keep the tops and I'm literally just going to sand all of the uh, cabinets and I'm going to paint them. I'm steering towards painting them black because I think it would look really cool with this flooring, um, which again we are keeping because it's basically new. Um, but we shall see. I'm thinking black. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm mumming and ahhing a little bit, but that's the plan for here. Everything else is staying. Um, I think we might change the tap because it's a bit wobbly. But apart from that, um, we're going to box the get the boiler boxed in. But everything else is is staying. It will just be a little bit cleaner because at the moment it is a dumping ground. I'm mm. moving through to what we call or what we're calling the mudroom in inverted commas. It's basically this extension with a really nice ceiling light. Not entirely sure what they were doing with the um, spotlights, but we'll ignore those for now. Um, so it's a really nice extension on the back of the house. Um, but it's just kind of a blank space uh, with nothing really going on. So apart from obviously you can see all my recycling is going on there. But what we're thinking is we're gonna do, if I actually come from this angle, it might be easier. What I'm thinking, we're going to put a wine rack in here, so it'll run all the way up to the top there. A wine rack in there. And then we're going to have some shelving here for cookbooks and things. Then we're going to have, here will be a desk with uh, pocket doors, so they'll be able to go away and we won't, you know, they won't get in the way. And then at the end, I'm thinking just of having a big cupboard for Hoover and ironing board and all the big things because this house has come with absolutely zero storage. So the more storage, the better, really. Um, so that's the plan for in here. And we're just weighing on quotes for things. Now in the hallway, um, this is all the original floorboards, but I'm actually going to tile in here. I'm going to have my first attempt at tiling, which will be interesting. Um, but yes, I'm going to tile in here. All of the skirting boards and all the doors, and in fact, all the woodwork are gonna be, they're gonna be painted black. Um, so I have to do all of that. And then running with the same theme, we're gonna paint the stairs black and then have a runner. Um, I think we're gonna do an off-white wool, possibly sizzle, something like that. Um, so yeah, that's the plan for the stairs, is to be black painted with the, along with the skirting boards and the architraves of all the doors, and then have a runner running up here with tiles on the floor. Which I think will make a nice, a bit of a dramatic entrance is what we're hoping for. Now there's a similar situation with the bathroom as there is with the kitchen. This was only done possibly two years ago. Um, now I'm not the biggest fan of the tiles that the previous owner chose in here. They've also tiled all of the walls and the floor in the same. I'm not the biggest fan, but again, I can't justify ripping everything out and redoing it because it's really, really new. Um, so instead, we are going to just update a few bits and live with it for a little while. So this mirror is gonna go in the place of the uh, vanity unit that was up here because um, that was all broken and the doors were falling off and everything. So that's got to go here. Um, we're gonna keep the sink and replace this unit again, because this unit, the doors are falling off. It's a little bit rotten inside. It's a bit gross, but this is fine. We're gonna change the tap because this one's a little bit wobbly. Um, and then again, 
you know, bathroom, toilet, absolutely fine. Um, the bath, toilet, sorry, absolutely fine. Um, we've just taken all the, the waste pipe in now just to get the length because we're going to replace that with a black one because we need to replace this because this freestanding, uh, the freestanding bath tap moves. It's, um, yeah, completely loose, which isn't ideal. So that needs to be replaced regardless. So we're gonna replace that one with a black one. And then we're gonna replace the shower. Um, again, the shower with the black, just with the black uh, shower head, just so everything ties in. Um, and it, you know, the space becomes a little bit more us. Um, is the plan, but yes, like I said, we're not gonna, we're gonna live with it really for a little while. Um, the tiles are not my favorite, um, but it is what it is. I just can't justify um, ripping it all out and starting again, so um, it's brand new, so we're gonna get some, some use out of it before we change anything major. So in the landing, um, this was actually all carpeted up the stairs, on the landing here, and into the spare bedroom. This was all carpet. Um, but it was grey carpet and as we know I'm not the biggest fan of grey on grey on grey and everything, the walls are grey, the carpet was grey, the kitchen's grey, the railing's grey, everything in here in this house was grey so um, the carpets I ripped those up uh, recently and somebody came, I put them on um, Gumtree and somebody came to pick them up um, so they have gone, I think the bedroom went to line an eight year old girl's bedroom and the stairs have gone to just zhuzh up some stairs. So that's good, they've gone to a new home because like I said, they were practically new. Um, but in here, again, I'm gonna paint this, all this railing black, all of the skirting boards, all of the architraves and the doors are all gonna be black as well. And then the runner is gonna come up to probably about here and then this is gonna become carpet up here, I believe. I think that's the plan. I might run on the whole lot, I'm not sure. Um, I need to have a, I need to get a carpet sample in really and see what it's like. But this is all gonna be sanded and filled and we're gonna try and make this look as nice as possible because it's quite old. Um, well, these are all the original floorboards so they need a little bit of TLC. As you can see, they're all a little bit worn and a little bit, they're not flat and things like that. So it needs a little bit of TLC but I'm gonna give it a good old sand and then a good old paint. So hopefully that will come up really nicely in here actually. So this is the spare bedroom. As you can see, gray on gray on gray. <laughs> and there was the gray carpet in here as well. So the carpet's been ripped up and that's gone. And that's gone to a new home. And I was hoping to sand these floorboards and um, varnish them. So we just have floors and rugs in here. Um, but unfortunately, when I was ripping up the carpet, I found this, which is the remnants of the old fireplace that used to be in here. I don't know if you can see the line here and there, but that used to be the old fireplace. So instead of getting rid of this properly, um, the previous owners have just kind of concreted in here and left little bits and pieces. So that's not ideal um, for what I wanted to do. So we're going with plan B and we're gonna carpet in here instead. So I'm on the hunt for a sustainable carpet to go in this room. Um, I'm thinking wool rather than a, you know, a carpet made from recycled plastic. Um, but we'll see, I'm waiting on some samples. So as soon as they come in, I will obviously show you guys and let you know what we're planning. Um, but in terms of kind of use and furniture in here, this is gonna be a spare bedroom slash office. Um, so we're gonna have wardrobes built along the back here. Um, and you can actually see where they have been some previously. You can see the paint line there of where the, um, where the wardrobes used to be. So we're gonna put some wardrobes in there and then have possibly a small double or a sofa bed or something that can kind of tie, get tidied away and then have a desk um, possibly here, possibly on this wall. Um, but yeah, the planning of the bedrooms need to still need to be done. So it's on my to-do list. And then into the master bedroom. This again 
original flooring um, I'm gonna sand down and I am gonna keep the flooring in here um, we're gonna have a wardrobes built in along here so there's just all the storage because like I said there's no storage in this house whatsoever so all of that's gonna become storage which is gonna be great and then I'm actually gonna change the swing of the door so the door is gonna go and you open it so it goes out into the hallway rather than into the bedroom um, and the reason for that is because we are trying to make this chimney breast usable we're building the wardrobes out a little bit so we lose quite a bit of space on this wall so a bed won't fit on this wall um, so by changing the swing of the door it means we can position the bed on this wall um, because we won't have to worry about this swing here so we're going to put the bed here uh, bed and bedside tables and then yeah change the swing of the door and then it just makes it a little bit easier to navigate this space which will be nice and then I'm thinking probably curtains in here but again I'm going to take down those blinds and we'll probably curtain on either side and all of the woodwork in here again the doors everything in the whole house um, all of the doors all of the architraves and all of the skirting boards are all going to be black throughout the whole house just to just to bring some continuity so that is one of my next next tasks is to uh yeah paint everything black but there it is there you have it our house tour what it is at the moment and what i'm hoping to do with it um yeah i'm excited to get some samples in and show you the kind of schemes that i'm going for but they're the general gist of what we're what we're doing room by room um but everything has to be finalised yet. So we're just waiting on the plaster to come in and then the carpenter. And so yeah, stay tuned and uh, I'll keep you up to date.